Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to do an unboxing of the Aquaman Best Buy Exclusive Steelbook, so stay tuned. So today I picked up my pre-order for Aquaman. I really like the artwork that they've done. I like the comic art a lot um, on these Best Buy Steelbooks. So here's the front. And here's the back. If you would like to pause and read up on this and the special features, please do so. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and unwrap this and give you a closer look at the artwork and what it looks like on the inside. Okay, I've got the J card off, so here's a closer look at the artwork. Like I said, this really looks nice. I like the um, comic book look of this. It's a nice glossy still book. And it's got the title on the front, which I really like. And this is what the spine looks like. With the continuation of the water, which looks really nice. And this is an image of the back. Real plain and simple. Um, but I really like that. It looks really good. So very happy with the way that this looks. Let me go ahead and open it up and we'll take a look at the inside. So here's the inside of the still book. Um, as you can see, we have the DVD in the back and the Blu-ray up front. Now the DVD, I know it's probably hard to tell, is a little bit of a lighter color blue. And then the Blu-ray disc is a darker color blue. Um, so not very much discard on it, but it does look nice. Not really sure if the 4K release actually has different artwork. Um, but I did choose the Blu-ray release. But let me go ahead and take the disc out and I'll let you see what the inside artwork looks like. So here it is without the disc in. Um, I really like the scene, the underwater scene of this. Very detailed, um, really nice and complete. I like the way that that looks. And let me give you a closer look at the artwork on the disc. So here is the Blu-ray disc. And here is the DVD disc. So at least it does have some artwork on it. It doesn't look bad at all. I really like that. So here are some of my other Aquaman purchases from today. I did pick up the Best Buy exclusive um, Blu-ray 3D version with a nice slip cover. And I also picked up the 4K edition because of the variant slipcover. And I picked up the Target exclusive 4K um, book edition. Um, I really like the lenticular effect on this one. So I definitely had to have that. So um, overall, I do like all of these releases. Um, but I really do, um, I really am happy about the Best Buy exclusive. Now the reason I chose the Blu-ray edition of the Steelbook from Best Buy is because I do have the 4K edition ordered from Zavi UK. It does have different artwork on it and it comes with a 4K disc so I decided just to pick up the Best Buy um, edition with the Blu-ray instead of the 4K. Um, that way I have something for all the different artwork. But as you can see, I've already placed my um, glossy steelbook in this protective bag. Um, this right here keeps the fingerprints off and helps protect it from getting um, scuffed up. So if you're interested in knowing where I get these bags, I do have a link in my um, description box below. So definitely check that out if you're interested. And then I just peeled off the stickers from the front and placed them on top of the bag, which makes it look really nice. So overall, I'm very happy with the releases of Aquaman. Um, me and my wife did see this in the theater and we really enjoyed it. We did not get a chance to see it in 3D. So very happy that we have a 3D version for this movie. Leave me a comment below. Let me know if you've seen Aquaman and what you thought of it. Um, were you able to see it in the theater? Or are you just gonna purchase it on Blu-ray? Which of these versions did you pick up? I'd be really interested in finding out which ones that you actually um, purchased. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe. I do upload videos once or twice a week, so please be sure to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I do upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and on Instagram, so you can find me there. And we will see you next time.